The thing that I'm kind of like really excited about, which is kind of funny, is the Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a ton of new affordable makeup that I have just been dying to try. Some of which was sent in PR, some of which I purchased myself. We have a lot of things from NYX, we have things from ColourPop, I've got Maybelline, I have e.l.f. I'm just gonna do a makeup look using all of these products and then I actually have to head to an appointment, so I'm just gonna do like a quick vlog wear test throughout the day to see how all of these things wear. We do have a foundation and a primer to try, so I'm really excited about all these things. Let's just get right into it. I've got my brows done off camera. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Uh, for concealer today, let's see, let's use this. I wanna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of this and dot it onto the eyelid. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. Well, I forgot to grab a powder, so I'm just gonna use the one that I used in the last video I filmed. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Palette, which actually kind of goes with the theme of this, um, since the ColourPop products I'm gonna be trying are from the new Peach Collection. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder and I'm just going to apply it to the eyelid to set the concealer to make sure it does not budge all day. All right, so this is the first new product that I'm really excited to try. I purchased this myself. I'm a sucker for peach products. I just love peach and I love a monochromatic peach look. So anyways, this is the ColourPop Baby Got Peach Palette. And here is the inside. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited to try this. I know that a lot of you guys might be thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. And so I grabbed my ColourPop Sweet Talk palette, which is one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop. And I wanted to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. I do feel like there are definitely very similar tones in these. This has more lighter peach tones. There's not as deep of colors in this palette. So just something to note, very similar tones, but also some differences. And obviously I will go through those as I use the palette and as I figure out, you know, what those differences might be. All right, let's start. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called Darlin. I'm taking a very fluffy brush with this shade and I'm just really working that into the crease, kind of toward the end of the brow. This like fills up my entire transition shade area. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. It's really great for just like quick transition shades. So I'm just working that back and forth and windshield wiper motions. I'm really liking how this is blending out. That is one thing about ColourPop. I do love the ColourPop formula. So sometimes testing these palettes is not about like whether I like the formula or not. It's gonna be more so about, you know, whether I like the color selection, the lineup, things like that. Um, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Perky, which is a really nice, true pinky peach shade. And we're gonna start to build that more into the crease area as well just to kind of bring in some of those peachier tones. After I have that laid in the crease, I'm going back in with the brush that we were just using. I didn't add any extra product, I just wanna make sure those two colors are blended together. I really like that so far. All right, let's go ahead and, I think I wanna take this shade called Half Baked, which is like a deep peach tone. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna to start to kind of press that along the outer portion of the lid. This is the darkest shade in the palette. And to me, it's still pretty light. It is, I mean, it's deep enough to add some depth to the look, but I feel like overall these shades definitely lean on the lighter side. But regardless, I'm applying it to the outer corner and then kind of dragging it inward like that. Okay, hmm, let's see. I think I wanna use this shade right here called Get Even. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto the lid. Oh, whoa. Ooh, that's pretty. This is kind of like a peachy pink duochrome shadow. And I am really into this. Ooh, I love how that looks on the lids. Next, I'm gonna go into the lightest shimmer shade. This is called Ready or Yacht. ColourPop always comes up with the cutest names. And I'm taking this on more of a flat brush and I'm just starting to apply that in this inner corner here and I'm making sure to kind of carve out the shape. So I'm kind of filling in whatever lid space is left around this inner corner area. And then I am kind of dragging it up right here as well. I don't know why, I've just really been into doing that with shades like this. I feel like it just adds extra dimension. Do you see what I'm talking about? I don't know why I love doing that, but I just do. I'm gonna go back in with, I don't know what shade we used with this brush, but regardless, it was a shade. Um, I think we used it with Perky, it's the same brush. And I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of Perky and just kind of lightly dust that through the crease a little bit more just to add that depth. I'm going back into Half Baked, which again is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm just wanting to make sure that this outer corner is really, really nice and um, just defined. I'm gonna kind of layer up a little bit more of that Get Even shade, which is that amazing duochrome. I just really want that to be the focal point on the lid, so I'm going to layer that up. 
You could totally leave the eyes here, especially if you're following along with this look. For me, I really wanna try out this glitter shade in here called Hungry Ghost. This is falling out everywhere. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm. I normally love glitter shades, but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna try to take this and press it on the inner portion of the lid. Okay, um, the glitter is definitely very chunky and very messy. It's falling everywhere. Oh my gosh, oh, this is such a mess. Dang it, this was like one of the shades I was most excited about and you know, I guess I'm not gonna voice my full opinion on it now because I haven't worn it throughout the day, but it just is kind of hard to work with. And I'm a glitter fanatic, like I love glitter. So, you know, if I'm saying that, it might mean something. Okay, I'm gonna try to wipe that off of my arm. Oh my, uh, it's everywhere. I just have glitter absolutely everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this out from underneath the eye and I'm gonna clean up the edges. Okay, in situations like this where I have glitter on the eyes and now the face, <laughs> I do like to go in with um, mascara. Oh, wait. I actually bought this palette with like two eyeliners. They had a bundle. I'll link that down below if you're interested in this bundle. But I did want to try out the eyeliners that I bought. So I'm going to take this one right here. And this is the BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Show Me. It's like a bronze. And I thought this would be really pretty on the top lash line. So I'm just going to line the lid from inner corner to outer corner. I'm not going to do a wing or anything like that. All right, now I'm going to go into the ColourPop BFF mascara and this is the brown color this is called what is this called brownie points and i'm just going to apply that to the top lashes okay so i really loaded up the mascara i did get it on the eyelid a little bit but i will just wait until it dries down to brush that off i literally have glitter everywhere you guys oh maybe i should have used a glitter glue i don't know i normally don't have to um with the sweet talk palette so i got a little ambitious i guess Oh, before I go any further, I wanted to try out the NYX Bear With Me Lip Conditioner. So I'm just gonna apply that right now because I am going to apply another kind of lip product later. So we might as well hydrate the lips while we wait. Okay, it's kind of crazy because I do really like the eye look, but that glitter I'm not sure about. <laughs> Let's move on to the complexion. For primer, I'm gonna be trying the NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer. Whoa, this is like very, very glowy look at that i'm not sure if this is too much i might have just applied way too much oh my word all i see is a glitter on my face <laughs> okay i'm just gonna continue to apply the primer wow <laughs> i definitely feel like i may have applied a little too much but regardless underneath foundation a lot of times these types of primers look really nice i normally apply mascara to keep the glitter from falling down on the face but this glitter has a mind of its own we're gonna try to have a positive attitude and we're gonna just keep going with the makeup. So obviously that made my skin very, very glowy. It feels nice and hydrated and as it sinks into the skin, it does have a little bit of a tacky finish, which usually helps with the longevity of foundation. So for foundation, I have a new foundation from NYX. I'm holding up two shades because I don't know which one I wanna use, but this is the new Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. So we might have a very glowy complexion today. Um, I have the shade Vanilla and Nude. This one is nude. I definitely I don't think that's the one for me. And this one is vanilla. All right, yes, we are going to go with vanilla. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just start to apply this all over the skin. Ooh, the coverage is actually really nice with this foundation. Making sure to blend it down the neck. And then I'm gonna take my dose of color sponge and press that into the skin. This is blending in really beautifully and over that primer, it just looks so fresh and glowy. I'm excited to see how this wears. The wear test is gonna be important with every foundation, you know, just to see how long wearing this is. I don't know if this has any longevity claims or anything like that, but off the bat, I really do love the coverage and finish that that gave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, one that's a little darker for blemishes. That's like the only one I need to cover today. And then I'm gonna take the lighter shade and dot that under the eyes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Then I'm going back into the Too Faced Peach Powder and I'm just gonna set the under eye area and the entire face with this. All right, we're going back into the eyeshadow palette. I'm going into Darling or Darlin and I'm just gonna run that across the entire lower lash line. Then I'm actually gonna dip into this shade right here called Ochre, but I can't roll my R's. 
so that's as good as it gets. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run this across the entire lower lash line as well. But with this shade, I'm going a little bit closer to the lash line than the previous shade. And then I'm taking Ready or Yacht, and I'm just gonna tie in the inner corner. So I'm going to apply it in the inner corner and then bring it in across the first third of the lower lash line. I'm actually gonna take that same brush and dip into Get Even, which is that amazing duochrome shade. I'm gonna tap off the extra, and I'm gonna really work that along the lower lash line as well. I really like this shade. And then I'm gonna go into Perky, and I'm gonna actually take that right underneath all the shimmer shades, and I'm just gonna kind of use this shade to blend everything out and down, making sure to connect it to the existing shadows on this outer corner here. Okay, I really do like that. Let's go ahead and apply the same ColourPop mascara to the lower lashes. Oh, wait, I have another pencil that I wanted to use. This is another one of the eyeliners that came with that set. This is the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. I used to actually own this shade, but it was in the old packaging, of course, and it kind of dried out because I owned it for a while, so I was happy to see that this was one of the eyeliners in the bundle. I'm just using this in the waterline, if you didn't see that already. And now I'm gonna finish up the mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, I really want to brush off this mascara mark here, it's kind of not coming off the way I wanted it to. Oh well, we must move on. For bronzer, I forgot to grab an affordable bronzer, so I have this right here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, but of course you could use any bronzer that you love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up the complexion with this. I like to get it in the hairline a little bit, along the cheeks, along the jaw, and a little bit down the neck. Okay, I was the most excited about these three blushes from ColourPop. I'm gonna try to use all three because I'm a blush person. By the way, I only picked up like the new products. They had an entire collection and a lot of it was kind of repeat products or it was just repackaged in a different way. So the eyeshadow palette and the um, three blushes are what really caught my eye personally, but there are more products to this line if you are interested. So I think first I'm gonna go into the darkest shade called Perk Up. And I'm gonna kind of apply this right above the bronzer, just kind of right here. In fact, I almost feel like you could use this as a bronzer. Hmm, maybe I should have tried that. Oh well. All right, next, um, we're gonna do this one. It's the lightest shade. This is called Frisky Business. All three of these are matte, by the way, which I really like. And with this one, I kind of want this to be all over the cheeks. So I'm really just dusting that on the front of the cheeks and also bringing it up pretty high on the cheekbone. Ooh, that's pretty. And then we have this shade right here, which is a nice kind of bright peach. This is called Fresh and Peachy. And I just want to take a little bit of this and focus that only on the very apples of the cheeks. We are peachy today and I'm not mad about it. For highlighter, I recently picked this up. I don't know how new this is to e.l.f. Anyway, I saw this in the aisles at Walmart and I was like, I need to try this. This is the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter in the shade White Gold. I don't have time to open this gracefully, so I just ripped it open. <laughs> but this looks so pretty and I thought it would be beautiful to try out with this look. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my highlighting brush and dip it into this. And I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Like, is it gonna show up? Hello? There we go, kind of. I'm like digging my brush into the pan and it's just kind of showing up. Maybe there's like a film layer on the top. I feel like that's the case with some e.l.f. products. Like you have to kind of scratch off the top layer for it to work first and maybe that's the situation with this. I don't know. Once it gets on the face though, it's a really nice color. I do like to bring the highlight a little bit down on the cheeks and I'm gonna pop it right here and down the center of the nose also on the cupid bow. Okay, so it's pretty and it definitely is building up, which I usually do like when highlighters build up, but this is kind of taking a little longer to build up than most. But I do like that, I do. Just took me a minute to get there. Okay, as far as the lips go, I really do like that lip balm. I am gonna wipe off a little bit of it though, just because I got a little bit of foundation on the lips. And for lips, we're gonna try one of the NYX Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipsticks. I have two colors that are kind of on the peachy side, so um, let's see which one we wanna use. By the way, you guys, if you are interested in how many shades there are of any of these products I've talked about or the prices, I will have those listed in the description box. Okay, so the first shade we have is called, <laughs> I don't know, where are the shades? Dusk to Dawn, and then we have this one which is called Silk Indulgent. I think I might take this darker peach shade first. Maybe we'll layer them. I tend to do that, you know, if I need to try a couple shades, just layer it, try them both at once. 
Let's go in with this one right here. This is the darker one, I believe. Maybe I should open the other one. Yeah, it's definitely darker. Again, this is called Dusk to Dawn. The applicator is more of a crayon. I really like this. It actually reminds me a little of that duochrome eyeshadow that I applied to the lids. Oh, I forgot that these are plumping. I'm starting to feel them tingle a little bit, which I'm not against plumping lip products. It just depends on what it is, you know? I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade just in the very center of the lips, and I'm gonna press that in just to add a little dimension there. All right, let's step back and assess the situation. I'm looking for my bronzer brush because I always know I like to add a little more of that. You know, you really can't go wrong with a monochromatic peach look, let's be honest. You just can't. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the lighter peach shade called Frisky Business, and I'm just gonna add a little more to the apples of the cheeks. Then I actually do have a setting spray I'm gonna try out. This is the new Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. So I think everything is how I want it to be. All right, let's go ahead and spritz the face. The mist is nice on that. Taking my handy fan, and then as this starts to dry down a little bit, I like to take my sponge and just press everything in. Okay, the very last thing we are going to be testing today is this NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. I like the size of the applicator, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run this through the eyebrows to set them in place. Whoa, it is very similar in texture, I think, to the Glossier Boy Brow. Oh, look at my feathery brows, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of press down the brows into the skin a little bit. I kind of love how feathery that made my brows look. Mm. I'm excited to see how that wears in my brows, you know, cause it is definitely a deal breaker if my brows move around throughout the day. So I'm excited to see what that does. Alrighty, I've got to get on the road so I can head to my appointment. So some of my check-ins are going to be more vlog style, um, but it's currently 1.30 p.m. I'm going to be wearing this for as long as possible. I will say I love the final look. I truly love monochromatic peach looks and I feel like the lip color really complements the eyes, which complement the cheeks. So I'm really happy with how the makeup looks right now. The only thing that I'm worried about is the glitter falling down on my face, but of course I guess the only way to see what happens is to wear it through the day. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to go ahead and head out the door and I will see you guys for my first check-in. All right, hi. So it is not right after filming, but it is pretty close. It's only been like 20 minutes. And so I normally do my first check-in in natural light. This is very natural light. And um, what do you think of the makeup? What I did you just tell me? I think it's beautiful. He was commenting on the sparkles though. I like the sparkles, but they do look like, like fish bait. <laughs> you know, like that you put- you know, I know, that was the one thing that I just there, didn't have cool. fun with, but I know it looks cool. I found one on the tip of my nose earlier, I'm like, already, so that's gonna be the thing, is just figuring out how the glitter wears on the eyes. And then, hey, tell me how you like the foundation, because I'm trying a new foundation too. I like it. You do? Wow. You like it? I like it a lot, actually. Hi, everybody. Well, you heard it here first, so I'm just gonna keep wearing it, and I will do some more check-ins. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, hi, I'm back in the studio. I did not vlog anymore in between. I ended up cleaning the house. Anyway, it's currently 11.56 p.m. So that means I've been wearing this foundation for a little over 10 hours. I said foundation because I've been so used to doing foundation reviews. Oh my goodness, I've been wearing this makeup for over 10 hours. Let's go through everything. I already feel like I know what I really like and I also have things that I do not like. So let's go through things really quickly. The NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer. I actually really love this. Next time I don't think I'll apply as much as I did earlier, but I loved how it looked on my skin and the complexion has held up really beautifully throughout the day. You'll notice there's a little bit of a sheen to the skin, but nothing is overly oily in my opinion and everything looked really, really nice for several hours. I actually got a lot of compliments on my makeup today when I went out, so that tells you something. I always do pay attention to the makeup I'm wearing when people compliment me quite a bit. So I'm super excited about that primer. I'm also really excited about the Born to Glow foundation. It's starting to break up around my nose a little bit here, but I have been touching my nose and that happens a lot. It also settled a tiny bit in the smile lines, but honestly not as bad as some foundations. I just loved this combination. I felt like it gave my skin a very healthy, glowy and dewy, but not greasy look to the skin. My face felt really hydrated throughout the day and it looked really hydrated and you can kind of still see the finish of it. I really loved 
what happened when I combined these two together. So I'm super excited about these actually. Let's talk about the ColourPop Baby Got Peach palette. Okay, so I loved every shade except for Hungry Ghost. And the thing that I didn't like about this is throughout the day, it kept falling down on my face and it really just drove me crazy. I guess I should have applied a glitter glue beforehand. So I will keep that in mind in the future. But for me, I feel like it kind of just threw off the whole look today. Besides that shade and besides the fallout, I really did love the eye look. I feel like it's a nice extension to the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. If you're somebody who likes this, you may enjoy this as well. I love a lot of the shades in here, so I did really like it. If you're somebody who doesn't own either of these and if you wanted me to tell you which one to pick up first, I would definitely still say the Sweet Talk palette. I just feel like it's so pretty and there's so many different kinds of looks you can do with this. And I also really love the glitter shades in here. It's not too chunky of a glitter. It's just right in my opinion. So I do really enjoy the Sweet Talk palette slightly more, but I loved the look I created with this palette and I will be reaching for a lot of the shades in here. It's just that glitter shade is not my favorite. I thought these peach blushes were so pretty and I loved how it looked on my cheeks. They also lasted really well throughout the day, which I really appreciate. If I were to choose one out of the three, I think I would do this one right here called Frisky Business. It's just a classic light peach shade. I did really like the other two shades as well and I feel like I will be dipping into the other two, but for some reason something's telling me I'm gonna get the most use out of Frisky Business. It's just a good classic peach shade. So I know these aren't technically new, but since I tried them out today, I thought I would update you on them. I really did like this color. I thought it added something really special to the look and I did also like the nude color in the waterline. It stayed all day. It's still in the waterline, which is really impressive. So I did like those. The NYX Bear With Me Lip Conditioner. I'm gonna have to keep using this. I didn't give it a fair shot today. I'm gonna apply a little bit right now. It definitely feels really nice on the lips. I'm not sure if it's something that like is completely necessary to run out and buy if you already own a lot of different lip balms and things like that. But with that being said, I will keep it on my desk and I'll continue to try it right now. I'm just not sure. Okay, now let's move into the things that I did not really like. I actually really enjoyed the color combo of these two lingerie push-up lipsticks, but what I did not enjoy is how they wore throughout the day. So in the beginning, I felt like they were pretty good, and then I ate dinner and I didn't touch up because I wanted to really see how things would go. I should have filmed it, I guess, but as I was cleaning my house, I looked in the mirror and it had just like crusted up on my lips and I did not like that at all. So I ended up wiping it off and just applying a lip balm. So yeah, I really like the colors, but didn't really like the formula, so I feel like I could find a very similar color if I wanted to recreate this look just with a different formula. The Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. I mean, I really loved my complexion today, so I feel like this kind of contributed. I will continue to use it. It's kind of hard to know how you feel about a setting spray after the first time of using it, but with that being said, I really did like my complexion, and so I will continue to use this. The thing that I'm kind of like really excited about, which is kind of funny, is the NYX Brow Setter. I don't know what it was about how it made my brows look, but it's different enough from my other brow gels that I'm gonna really definitely remember to reach for this. I loved it and my brow stayed in place all day, which I really, really liked. So I'm excited about the brow gel. I feel like it's a dupe for and maybe even better than the um, Glossier Boy Brow. Don't quote me on that yet. I'm gonna keep testing it out, but off of my first impressions, I really loved the formula of it. Okay, let me make sure that I'm not forgetting anything else. There's one more product, the e.l.f. Highlighter. Okay, so I did kind of like the highlighter. I think my skin looks nice today, but I don't think this highlighter is memorable enough for me to reach for it again. It was kind of hard to build up, and it's funny because I do like highlighters that build up, but this was just a little bit too difficult to work with. And once I did build it up, I feel like when I looked close in the mirror, it kind of emphasized a lot of the texture. So even though it looks nice on the skin, it's not my favorite highlighter. I might still keep trying it out, but off of my first impressions, it's definitely not something that really floored me. So before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and put a before and after from my makeup being freshly applied up until now so that you guys can see everything side by side. Overall, I feel like I had a pretty good makeup day. The only thing was, again, the glitter and the fallout and all of that. But other than that, I love a good monochromatic peach look. So I really did enjoy a lot of these products and I'm excited to continue to use them. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have tried any of these products and how you feel about them. If you're 
you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's everything for today. If you guys have any video requests for me, if there's anything that you would like to see on my channel, don't forget to leave that down below before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.